We are still busy with the third question from the 2013 Eastern Cape uh, Matric Trial Paper for the IT Paper 1, which is the Pratt Paper. Um, we're busy with the, th the third question. Um, it basically was a string grid and a 2D array that dealt with um, ticket numbers. And we just got the last bit to do. It's a last question. It's quite ironic that I've got, uh, I missed a long and I'm going to do a very short video for the last question, which is just a five mark question. And so here we go. We need to calculate and display, making use of the show message, the total amount raised if each ticket will cost 25 Rand and 40% of the total amount was donated to an underprivileged school. So we must display that amount. So there's two things we must display. First of all, the amount raised at 25 Rand per ticket. Remembering that our values are probably going to be different because um, if you remember correctly, they didn't take into consideration the very last value in the text file. So we've got a few more tickets. And then 40% of that amount must be donated to charity. So let's have a look. Now, if I remember correctly, we actually, in the previous question, if I just go up, it's, we actually worked out how many tickets were sold in 3.3. Mm. So if I've got that value already there, then why can't I just use it and just times that value by 25? Because that's how many tickets were sold. That seems to make more sense to me, or in this case, rands. So, let's go to the question. The only problem with that, if I looked at tickets sold, um, I had ticket count and I display ticket count. The only problem here is that ticket count we set as a local variable. So, what I'm going to just do here is just sneakily delete that. And then I will go and make ticket count a global variable. And if it's a global variable, then I can use it in other procedures. So, there, ticket count is of type integer. I'm getting very animated in my voice because I'm near the end of this long question. So let's go to that question. Amount raised. So now we've got that ticket count, which has the number of tickets sold. So well, let's just work out the um, the costs. Now that's a decimal value, so let's make a decimal value. So let's make it uh, money. I'll call it money because everyone likes money. So money is of type real. And I'm just going to say, you know, money is equal to those tickets that were costs, ticket count, times about 25 Rand. Now, I'll just times about 25 Rand, 25. So 25 Rand, and then we will just display it. This is going to be a very easy five marks. The sad thing about this is that because it's such an easy five marks, a lot of people don't get to the last question, either because they've struggled with the more difficult questions before then. Um, so sometimes it's a good idea just to, if you struggle with the question, move on to the next question. Maybe the questions that come after will be easier. Um, and especially this one. This one is very doable and you can get easily good file marks without taking too much time. Total amount raised. So total amount raised. Is it all supposed to be capitals? Yes, let's make it all capitals. Let's do exactly what they want. And then we add the money 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 but money must be to two decimal places and obviously it's a real so we can't actually just put it there we need to go float to string but we want it to two decimal places so i'm gonna say f and then we've got money and they remember float to string f has four parameters it's got the variable you want to display then is there some ff something um there's no ran sign displayed so i'm not going to use the currency i'm just going to use the fixed option and put an 8 and a 2. Let's just see if that part works. Remember, our numbers will be different because I think we got 156 tickets. So it should be more. Display. Amount raised. Whoa, that's not correct. Let's have a look what I did wrong. Uh, I, I think I know what happened. You see, I didn't click on this button. See, we can't, we can't use the ticket count variable unless we've actually clicked on the ticket sold to work out how many tickets were sold. Let's just see if it runs, if I actually say ticket sold. Yes, 156 times that by 25. Should be a lot of money. There we go. That looks a little bit more respectable. Okay, and, it, and you might say, but Mr. Long, um, why don't you work out the number of tickets sold? Because the reason I'm not going to do it is because it's only for five marks and the memo I checked also does it the way I'm doing it here. So I'm not going to stress too much about that. But technically, you should have some sort of way of working out the ticket sold because you're not guaranteed that they're going to click on that button. The other part of the question is the amount donated, which is 40% of that amount of the money. Well, let's make a variable called donation. And that's quite easy. We're just going to say donation. 
is equal to 40% of. 40% of. Of means times of the money. And then we're just going to display it like it is there. Total amount donated. So let's just copy this. This will probably be the easier. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Instead of saying total amount raised, I'm going to say total amount donated. Donated. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And then the money, instead of displaying the money variable, we're going to display the donation variable. Donation. Also to two decimal places. What's wrong here? 40% times. It does not know what 40% is. Maybe I should make that a divided by 100. Maybe that'll work better. 40 divided by 100 is also a percent. There we go. Get info, display, get the tickets sold because we need to know how many tickets sold and amount raised. Yes, that's how much was raised. And that's what the donation is. And Eureka, I mean, Rika, our question is done. And that was an easy five marks. Very easy. Okay. So there we go. There we've done the question. The other parts show you all the other um, parts that we've done for this question. There are quite a few parts. It's quite a long question. So the key thing, if I can sum summarize what you need to do when you tackle a question like this, please, first of all, don't get stressed and don't get scared. That's the first reaction people get when they see string grids, when they see 2D arrays. Just take a deep breath and do what you can. Okay. Make sure you get as many marks as you can. So if it says... Um, to get from a text file. You know how to get from a text file. Just do all the steps. You can add the other bits later. Break it up into little pieces if you have to and do the one part and you can do the other part later or add on to it. And look at all the questions because there might be an easier question near the back which might be easy marks and be quite quick to do like this this 3.0 was a 3.6 it was quite quick to do and easy to do um, and so you can score easy marks just by doing it. So don't be scared don't be afraid. You can do it. I believe in you. So hopefully this this video has been useful. Um, please make sure that you don't do it the long way. Always do it the Mr. Long Way. If you have found this video useful at all, along with the other videos in this series, please go to our channel, like our channel, subscribe to it, leave comments, and follow us on Twitter if you want to get updates for the latest uh, videos that we upload. Also, if you like hearing me say the word basically, because I think I say that quite a few times, um, then you can go and look at this channel as well and see how many times I say it. Maybe do a count and let me know how many times I say the word basically.